Hey there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Well, howdy, partners. We're excited y'all are here. We sure are, Carl. And today we want to start off by playing a game. That's right. If there's anything in this world that I love, it's games. And God. And Jesus. And the Holy Spirit. And horses. Frogs. Slime. Flamingos. Flamingos on frogs. Flamingos on horses. The feeling you get on a roller coaster when you do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Sunglasses with cool flames on the side of them. That's probably enough, right? What? Oh, yeah. That's enough. Okay, so the game we're playing today is... Java cake. What? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, anyway, today the game we're going to be playing is Catch. Yes! Catch! And today, I brought some of my older brother's favorite toys. Wow, I thought he never let you borrow his toys. Oh, he doesn't. But I gave him a cookie in exchange for the toys. But his one condition was, I cannot lose the toys. Awesome. Yep. So you ready? Ready. All right. Well, we're going to start off with this block and add more as we go. Let's go. A lot of fun. I know. You're telling me. I haven't had this much fun since I don't know when. Me neither. I don't think anything can ruin this. Hey, buds. <laughs> How's it going? You guys doing okay? Hi, Andy. How's it going? Oh, not bad. What are y'all doing? Playing some games, having fun, not doing anything at all. Oh, it doesn't look like nothing. What are those? These? Yeah. These? Oh, these are just uh, turtles. I'm a turtle collector. Right, Cassie? Yeah, Carl's an avid turtle collector. He loves the smell of shells. The smell of shells? That seems fishy. Let me see. Wait a minute. These aren't turtles. These are your brother's toys, aren't they? You mind if I take them? Well, I mean, okay. they're my brother's. See you later, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you tell anybody, you're in trouble. What just happened? Wow. I don't know, but that wasn't very nice. No, it wasn't. And now I don't know what to do. He just took the toys. And my brother said not to lose them. I'm sure your brother will understand. I don't think he will. He loves those things. Well, if you just tell him the truth, that Andy took them, maybe he might. I can't do that either. Andy said if I told anyone, I would be in trouble. Oh, that's right. Oh no, I'm in such trouble. I know this situation seems really difficult right now, but you're not alone. How? Well, I'm here, and you know what? There have been people who've gone through difficult times just like you right now. Really? Like who? You know Esther? The nice lady at Walmart who always gives me the smiley face sticker? No, from the Bible. Oh, okay. No, I don't think I know of her. Well, she was a Jewish woman who was picked by King Xerxes to become the next queen. Wow, that's great. That doesn't seem like a tough situation. Thing is, she kept her identity as being Jewish, hidden from everyone. And one day, her cousin Mordecai came and told her something very troubling. He said that there were people not only plotting to kill the king, but the Jewish people. That's awful. It was, and Esther didn't know what to do. What do you mean? She needs to go tell the king so she can stop it. You would think it would be simple, but there was a law that if you came to talk to the king without him asking you, you would die. Seriously? That's crazy. Yeah, but that was the law, so Esther had a really tough decision to make. To not say anything and see her family and friends killed, or to tell the king and possibly die because of it. Holy moly, that's difficult. So what'd she do? Well, she asked Mordecai to tell everyone to fast from food so she could have wisdom and courage to do what was right. So then she decided to tell the king, and she said, if I perish, I perish. Wow, Esther was really brave. I mean, she knew that if she went and told the king, she could really get hurt. So why would she do that? I think it was because it was the right thing to do. And it was her faith in God that helped her do it. I guess you're right. And I guess that gives me the answer for my difficult decision. I think you're right. But at least I now know that God can help me overcome my difficulties. What was that? 
Oh, I just said I think that now God can help me overcome difficulty. What? What? I just said that. <gasps> Wait a minute! That's our big idea! Today's big idea is that God can help me overcome difficulty. So let's say it out loud on the count of three, okay? One. Two. Three. God can help me overcome difficulty! Woohoo! All right! <laughs> yeah! You did it. Good job. I'm proud of you, Carl. But I know that by doing something difficult, God will be proud of you. And so will I. Thanks, Cassie. I know it's the right thing to do. Okay, here he goes. I don't, I don't want these back anymore. Wait, why? Uh, I felt bad. <laughs> You got in trouble with your mom and had to give them back, didn't you? Yes. All right then. Well, thanks for tuning in, kids. We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.